since we uh, configured uh, a volume, probably we can have the same information inside of our local folder. And here we have the issue and the screenshot of what is happening and what is wrong. This is from the container. It is not my local computer, okay? Hey masters, welcome back to Join Media. Today, we have a very, very, very interesting video about Cypress and Docker. As you may know, Docker is a very common uh, technology these days. And today we are gonna be using the Cypress Docker images that are already built for us to use them and we're gonna try i'm gonna try to explain you step by step how to well execute your local script using a container with docker okay we're gonna learn how to pull an image how to execute a container and check the logs and so on so please let the like and subscribe and let's go ahead with this amazing video okay as you can see in the official github repository of cypress we have three different images available. We have the base, we have the browsers, and we have the included version. In this included version, we have the operating system dependencies and also the Cypress uh, modules already installed and also some browsers to be specific, Google Chrome and Firefox. I'm gonna show you how to check which version of the browser is installed in the container and all the information about it. So let's go ahead in the terminal, in the command prompt. I have installed Docker for Windows in my case, because that's the thing that I have right now in my personal computer, right? And um, the first thing that we have to do is come here to the Cypress included uh, image or actually GitHub repository, right? And look for the latest version of the of the docker image that has been built okay um in this case i want to use the latest obviously it is going to depend on your project and your uh, how you manage the dependencies of your project um, but in this case i'm going to be using that one the command that i have to use for or actually in order to download or pull the docker image is docker pull okay and then i have to specify the docker image name in this case is cyper included i'm sorry I'm sorry, it is. It doesn't have to download that in that way. Because for good practices, we also have to specify the tag version. In this case, the one that I want to download is the latest one. In my case, and in the moment I'm recording this, is the 8.2.0 version. So let's go ahead, click on enter, and you are gonna have downloaded your um, Docker image in your computer, in your local repository. In order to check which images you have in your local repo, you have to use the, doc the command docker images over here. And you're gonna take a look of the repository. And in this case, I have two images with the same name, as you can see over here, but the tag is different. Also, the image ID is different, of course, and the size is different, of course. Also, it was created three days ago in, in comparison with the oldest one, right? Where it has two years. <laughs> of existence so uh, once that i have the image in my computer i want to make sure what is happening inside of that container what are, what are the browsers that i have available and also which is the uh, operating system version that we have in that container or actually that yeah that, that we are building that container and so on so uh, we here we have another command that i want to show you which is docker run okay and we're gonna be using the it argument in order to let it know that I'm, I want to run this in interactive mode so I can check the logs uh, well, as soon as we have some new, okay? And also I have to use an entry point. The entry point allows us to uh, well, uh, enter different parameters when, um, when we are executing a, a Docker container, actually, yeah. A Docker image, right? Um, entry point is going to be Cypress, and also we have to specify in this case the Cypress name over here. So let me see. And also the tag that we want to check in this case is this one. And also I have to enter the word info. And then probably, if I'm not wrong, yeah, there it is. We have the information of this particular 
um, well, container when it is executed. As you can see, it, we have two different browsers installed. We have Chrome, we have Firefox. Also, we have the versions as you can see over here, right? And if, if we go to the bottom, you can check that the Cypress version that we have installed is this one. The, Cyp the system platform is Linux, Debian uh, 10.10, that 10, that's good. And also the system memory that we have available in that particular container. Also, we have a uh, well, different uh, information like proxy settings. We have environmental environment variables in case we, we want to specify some others or take this into account and uh, so on. We have the application data, also the, the I'm not sure, a lot of stuff over here about uh, the relevant information of this container. Now that I know that, I want to show you uh, how to execute a local uh, uh, script using a container, okay? So, um, if you want to learn how to actually check if there is some container running in your right now in your computer you have to use the command docker ps as you can see right right now i don't have anything in the list about the container id however if i run the command docker ps dash a you're gonna have a list of the different containers that were executed in the past in this computer right as you can see uh, recently i uh, executed this uh, container right with this image and I executed the Cypress information command in order to check all the details about that particular container, right? So, um, okay, the next step that I have to do in order to execute my local script in uh, in a container is actually uh, be placed, if you want, be placed in the where you have the project, um, okay? What I mean with this is that in this case, I have my Cypress framework right inside of the desktop a folder, right? And inside of the desktop, I have another folder named Cypress end-to-end -end automation framework. And here are all the files that I need in order to uh, execute my scripts locally. So in this case, um, I'm gonna be referencing or actually going to that path in the CMD, how you can do that? Basically using the CD command and entering to that particular place. That's correct, right? And as you can see right now, I'm placed in that particular uh, route or path. That's correct. So um, in order to execute um, a local script in a container, we have to use the same parameters, docker run, in order to execute an image, actually a container from an image, all right? Also, we ha I want to execute this in interactive mode, as I told you before. I have to specify a volume. And here is the important uh, part of this video. The volume is gonna have two parameters. The first one is gonna be the folder where I am right now, okay? In this case, this particular command, CD, and, and the quotes and the percentage symbols, is gonna be referencing this path over here, okay? And then we have to specify using double dots and then the folder that I want to use in order to have a kind of volume where I can map the folders that I have in my local computer with the container. So we are gonna have a kind of communication between the container and my local computer, okay? If I am not wrong, that's basically what we have to do over here. So the next step is to specify a work directory using the W the command, as you can see, the W argument. And I also have to specify that my work directory is end-to-end, -end, as I just did before, specifying uh, in the volume. That's good, right? And then I have to specify the image name and the tag that I want to use. In this case, if I am not wrong, it was Cypress. included and the version which was 8.2.0 that that that's correct right and if i am not wrong then i have to specify the spec file that i want to execute and we have to use the dash dash spec argument and then specify where my my specs are and which are the ones that i want to execute in this case is integration cypress integration and if i come here to the integration folder I want to execute the specs that I have inside of the pom folder over here. Okay, 
so pom.js that's correct I'm sorry inside of the pom folder but then I have to look for all the files that we have with the um, type of file JS that's correct and now also if you want to I can specify the browser that I want to use so in this case for example I want to use Chrome so I'm gonna click on enter and if everything is fine probably we're gonna have well as you can see it is executing and uh, the different spec files as you can see it is actually ex uh, executing the home sauce spec.js file uh, probably the first um, it is gonna be failing because that's something that I wanted to do and uh, let's see let's see if it works or not it is taking long <laughs> long time I'm not sure why mm -hmm. mm, well I'm not sure why it is taking a lot. probably it is not yeah I suppose that and as you can see I uh, well my my CMD for uh, kind of uh, freezes right but it was executed already and as you can see the first it is actually failing um, the the rest of them is working as expected okay and uh, well as you can see it actually has a um, generated and a screenshot and it's it is saying that it was generated under end-to-end -end Cypress screenshot pom hum sauce spec JS but since we a configured uh, a volume probably we can have the same information inside of our local folder and probably if I come here inside of Cypress and screenshots it has created a page object model folder and a spec file and here we have the issue and the screenshot of what is happening and what is wrong that's good right this is from the container it is not my local computer okay and if I go beyond it also has generated a video so if i come here to the cypress folder in the videos we also have a video about what is happening over there actually we have a video about the whole execution as you can see over here and that's inside of the container okay there it is that's amazing and if I go beyond, actually from uh, at the bottom of the of the locks, you can check that well the another spec file is working as expected and everything well is 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 correct. That's good. And um, it also has generated a video, and we have the final results over here. It is worth to mention that it wasn't executed in my local computer. It was executed in that container so I just want to show you uh, one more thing in case um, uh, you want to check the locks from from a container that is already gone okay um, if you execute the command docker ps you, you check and obviously there is no container because it was deleted as soon as the, the execution was finished but if you come here and execute the command docker ps dash a you can see that uh, we have the latest container id over here and i can check the logs of that particular container using the command docker logs and the container id over here and we have well the same stuff that i just received when i executed the the docker container docker run with a, actually using the interactive mode right so yeah, that's basically the video that I had it that I had for you today. It is very simple, but I, I tried to explain you in the best way that I had. Please let me know in the comment section if you want to learn how to create a Docker image using the other actually the other images that Cypress provides us, right? For example, using the Docker the Cypress base or the Cypress browser. Please let me know that and thank you very much for watching the whole video until the end and see you in the next one. Bye bye.